is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. The thumbnail is going to be the first thing we show you today, the first thing we talk about today. I'm looking right at it and I'm really trying to convince myself I don't need this car. I don't need this headache. I can't help it though. There's just something about it that's just drawing me in. Let's take a look. This is a 1984 Chevrolet Citation. When is the last time you saw this car? I, I, when's the last time you saw one on the road? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not here to say it was a great car, but it's a car from my childhood that, uh, you know, I don't know exactly how I feel about it, yet I just feel drawn to this car and I really want to bring it home and try to bring it back to life. Can we save it? I, I don't think so. I, I don't know but i would like to try i really would for the most part this car is not in bad condition it's really not it's missing the filler panels which maybe you could get them or maybe you could fabricate something um biohazard it, it's got some serious problems guys it's also missing the filler panels down here as well this is i know this looks off this is all right. It's just missing this this bracket right here with this see what I mean? It's just it's just soft. It's missing these filler pieces that would attach here and it would attach here. Once you put those back on, this would look a lot better. The body is in relatively good condition for the age and for the type of car it is. Looks like the hood took a little ding right there. She's got just a tiny dent in her. Um this door's over here. Looks like something kind of rubbed up against it down here. It's definitely got a little bit of damage and it's missing the trim. This would be a great candidate for a fresh Mako paint job, man. Uh, the front end is good. The back end is good. The hood is not bolted on. That is pretty strange. It's missing the filler panels over here as well. This side of the car is in great shape though. Great shape. It's not hail damaged or anything. It just needs some filler panels, tires, wheels, hubcaps, whatever. A hell of a cleaning, maybe a paint job. And then, well, we still don't know if it runs. So there's that. Um, the interior is actually in really good shape. This interior brings back so many memories. It is brown. That's the color of the Citation that my parents had back in 1984, I believe, if I remember correctly, that was their first brand new car. Um, we were a nice little middle-class suburbia family, military family, my dad was Air Force, and this was their first car, and I was their first kid. In fact, I was their only kid between my mother and my father. Um, my father ended up leaving in 1985-ish. He ran off and, uh, had kids with someone else and started a new family and uh you know my mom and i ended up kind of <laughs> we ended up in the trailer park and poor after that from one trailer park to the next for many 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 years anyway this car brings back some traumatic memories that i have as a child i remember that we were on the road my mother I believe was driving, which is kind of crazy because my mother didn't have a driver's license until after my parents were divorced. So there is a possibility that I've got that wrong, but I seem to remember my mother in the driver's seat. I remember getting hit really hard from the back. It was nighttime, it was dark, it was rainy, and we were driving, and a tree or some branches had fallen in the road. My mom slammed on the brakes and the vehicle behind us crashed into the rear end. I remember sitting in this seat right here, and I remember the guy coming up to my mom. He came walking kind of staggering next to the car, and I remember when he got by my window, he looked at me, and all I could see was uh, blood. You know, you know what it's like when you wrench your bloody hand off in the sink? You know, the blood isn't so thick anymore. It's just a real runny... It, that's kind of what it was. He, His head had gone through part of his windshield, and he was just covered in blood. And he was apologizing, and I remember my mom crying, and I don't remember my dad really doing anything or saying anything. I'm sure he did. I just don't remember it. 
I just remember sitting here as a kid thinking that this was like some freakishly awful horror movie with this bloody guy standing next to us. I don't remember anything after that other than we never got the car back. Insurance totaled it because apparently it had bent the rear axle. Um, and that was the end of it. We never saw it again. And, uh, you know, shortly thereafter, my parents divorced and a car was something we typically didn't even have anymore. Uh, we ended up walking or we called it Shoe Leather Express or we had to hop on a bus when we needed to go places. So this car, yeah, I don't know. This is probably one I should stay away from, right? Is <laughs> I don't know if this is one I should, if this is one I should be messing with. This has a 2.8. I believe these also came with the Iron Duke. And then you had this, the 2.8 liter big boy V6. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, this is going to be carbureted. This is before fuel injection. <laughs> Looky there. Look at that carburetor. Oh boy. There's a paper clip. Look at that, a paper clip in there. So I can't help but wonder, why is this car here? Will it run? I don't know. I don't know. This isn't, you know, this isn't a car that anybody's really going to want, right? Like, who wants a Chevy Citation? And it says 303,000 miles. Yeah, I don't believe there's 303,000 miles on it. It's, you know, maybe 130 or, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say around 130. There's where your factory radio would have gone in sideways and there's your aftermarket Pioneer. Someone has removed the steering wheel and the horn. As you can see, it's actually in really good shape. In fact, the interior is really in pretty damn good shape. Somebody got under here. Somebody apparently tried to steal it. That's, that's my guess. Someone stole it or tried to steal it. They jammed all this up, man. And uh, this would be how you start it and how you turn the ignition on i'll be honest with you it doesn't feel like it's in very good shape <laughs> i don't think the uh i don't think the ignition switch is in very good shape we got a lot of stuff under here that's been kind of just pulled off is that an obd connector really it is that's a diagnostic connector wow on a carbureted car the headliner is tore up but the interior to me anyway just doesn't look that bad it, it, it I think it could be saved, guys. I do. Is there a... Oh, this is open. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. We got a bedpan. We got several tires. Hubcap. Oh, wow. 2009? 2009. Oh, boy. So, uh, 12 years. She's been most likely sitting. Let's smell the gas. Oh, there's no, there's no. I don't really smell anything. I know we're taking a lot of time on this car, but I'm really intrigued by it. I'm really thinking about potentially uh, bidding on this and trying to bring it home. Uh, there's potting soil. That's not poop. That's potting soil. There's a lot of tore up rags and napkins and there's antifreeze. So it must have had a coolant issue. Ugh, okay. There's only one thing to do, guys. Let me throw the booster pack on it. Let's see if we can get anything to happen with this car. If I could just get it to crank. I would feel better about it. Well, I got the booster pack on and it doesn't seem like anything is happening in here at all. That sucks, but I mean, yeah, I guess I kind of expected that. Huh? Now the positive terminal here is very corroded, but I just got a feeling there's, there's something more going on here. I don't know. Um, give me a minute. Let me see if I can figure anything out here. This will be my last attempt. I've run the positive straight over to the alternator and I have run it to the negative or to a ground. 
I'm wondering if this car even has a starter in it. There may not even be a starter, guys, because as you can see, we got no lights. Nothing is happening at all. And nothing. Nothing. So, yeah. And th this is just, this whole thing here is just all tore up. Yep, well, what do you guys think? I think she's gonna need a steering column amongst a lot of other things. Sometimes, you know, just because you find something that brings back a lot of memories, doesn't necessarily mean you should buy it. Doesn't mean it's a good idea. And I, I just, as much as I really do want this to see if I can bring this back to life, this is one that I feel like I really need to kind of listen listen to myself here on and remember that uh, this car has been parked for a long time it's not worth any money like none nobody's gonna buy this car nobody even if i got this car running and moving under its own power nobody's gonna bid on this car nobody's gonna buy this car when i send it to auction and at the end of the day i don't necessarily have the best memories in this car anyway so why bother i don't know i'm gonna listen to you guys though what do you think Comment below, please, and uh, tell me what you think of the 84 Chevy Citation. Next on my list, a 2014 Mitsubishi Lancer GT. It's a GT mean like really, really, really fast? Gran Turismo? Yeah, she's got some hail damage. She only got 72,000 miles on the clock, though. Let's see how she looks in the back. She's not wrecked, right? No? No, she actually looks pretty good on the back. This is nice. This is nice. Well, aside from the hail damage, but... I think it kind of makes up for it with the uh, the low mileage, right? I mean, you can replace the hood. The roof is... I mean, these hail dents look like somebody... These are... These are deep. Like, it really looks like someone came through and just hit it with a damn hammer. All the way down. All the way down. Look at that. Let's see how the other side looks. She's rough. But I still think she'd make somebody a good car. We got, we got good tires on her. We've got a... I don't know what those tires are. I mean, what is that? Sin Sincera? Uh, hell, I don't know. I don't know. Are those Falcons? Those are Falcons. So, I mean, I know the brand Falcon. I don't know what a Sincera is or whatever that is. But, all right. She got good tires on that side. And we got matching tires on this side as well. So, let's take a look at the interior. Not too shabby. Headliner? Yeah. Yeah. Broken oh crap handle? Absolutely. That's because this car is fast. This car is really fast. It is a GT. How she look up here? Pretty good too. Yeah. I wonder if this one needs a jump. No. I bet this is gonna run. Oh, hold on. She's got paddle shifters. She's got, she's got paddle shifters. This car means business, guys. It's got paddle shifters. All right. Um. Someone tell me where the push to start is oh it's got one of those weird key things Ooh, ooh! all right all right well guys she sounds pretty dang good doesn't she service engine soon light does the important window work it does. It has express up and down. Does the air conditioning work? Let's find out. Uh, I heard it. I heard it. All right. Let's uh, let's take a peek under the hood. See what she's working with. We got what a a turbo. You think maybe a, a turbo four? I have no clue what Mitsubishi put under the hood of these. I'm going to bet that's probably just something like a naturally aspirated, uh, well, hell, 2.4 liter is probably too big for this. It'd be, it'd be a one something. She'll be a one something. What do you think? No, it is a 2.4. It is. It's a naturally aspirated, but it is a 2.4. You can see right there. Yep, the test group is 2.4 GRB. All right. I mean, seriously, like the size of engines today, you know, 1.4 liters and stuff, 1.6 liter Ecotex, 1.4 liter Ecotex, uh, a 2.4, that's a big engine. That's a big engine by today's standards. 
I bet she's got a little bit of power. Naturally aspirated too, so you can get all that power up front. We do have a cracked windshield though. It's cracked all the way down. Air conditioning is ice cold. Ice, ice, baby. Jiffy Lube was taking care of the oil changes, so at least we know somebody was changing the oil in the damn thing. She goes in reverse. Yep. And she goes forwards. I have no doubt that this car probably runs and drives absolutely fine. I mean, there's no reason it shouldn't, other than the check engine light. But, you know, I mean, 72, 73,000 miles, it's probably just some simple sensor. It's probably not gonna be anything serious. It really does run great. It's got good tires. Aside from the hail damage, the body looks to be in really good condition as well. It's relatively low miles. I like it, guys. I do, I do, I like it. <sighs> Should we? I don't think so, guys. I, I this isn't this isn't something I'm interested in. You know, I'm 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 the type. I'm more interested in a, I don't know, a, a Chevy Citation than a newer car like this. Moving on to the next one, which is something I really shouldn't be interested in, but I am. You're gonna hate me for this one. Let's go. Last one, guys. 2008 Jaguar XJ8. I'm not sure if this is an L or not. It's got 165,000 miles listed as a non-runner. You guys know how I feel about those non-runners. It's $1,600, buy it now. $1,600, it is, it is an L, ha <laughs> ha. You get a little extra leg room, that's what L stands for, a little extra leg room. It's got some hail damage. I don't know if it's here for hail, but it's not, it's not bad. I mean, it, it is noticeable for sure, but this isn't like, Oh my God, that car is awful. It looks like a, well, a, a, a normal Oklahoma car <laughs> with that hail damage on it. I'm interested in this one, guys. I don't believe that it doesn't run. I don't, I just don't. Is this a, oh no, this is not an insurance. This is gonna be a clean title. So this says mechanical. Uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought maybe this was here for an insurance claim or something for hail damage. Well. It smells freaking amazing. Two sets of keys. It's super clean on the interior, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. You do have a little bit of, you know, ash in there. But she is really, she's clean. And she smells really, really good. Look at all that leg room you got back there. Oh, man. Okay, well... Check the tires. We got Continental Control. I can't read that. Control Contact. Continental Control Contact. This will tell me a lot about the car. Continental Control Contact. The body looks good. The interior looks good. Continental Control Contact. Whoa, is that rotor destroyed or? That looks pretty bad. Oh, it's not bad. It's not. It looks worse than it is. Uh, I put my finger on it, doesn't feel that bad. And Continental Control Contact. Good looking rotor in there too, not too shabby. All right, these are phenomenal driving ma machines, man. They, they, they really are. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Can we get the hood up? It's not gonna, oh, some. <laughs> I really, really hate when people get up under here and start messing with the fuse box. I really do. I really do. <laughs> they don't even try to cover it up, you know? Like, if you just put that cover back on, I wouldn't have suspected a thing. But now I do. Now I do. Um, this is going to be one that you can't get to the battery from under the hood. Nope, you got to get into the trunk, which is going to require that special little tool of mine. So let me go ahead and fast forward you guys through all this BS and let's get into the trunk where the battery is. All right, so I got, the I got the trunk open. I started looking down here at this and obviously there's a relay missing right there. I don't know what it goes to, but somebody definitely pulled, somebody definitely pulled a relay out of there. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on the trunk, hook this up to the battery real quick. And uh, I would almost bet money that the relay that's been pulled is probably a fuel pump relay. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. I hate shady people, man. I really do. 
Uh, can't guarantee it, but what we can do is we can swap another relay for the one that's missing. We'll try to start it up as it is. Okay, and if it doesn't want to cooperate, then we can swap the relay. For now, we'll leave it exactly as it is. Uh, crap. That's not the key. The key is not on the steering column, and I did put it in my pocket as I was pushing the trunk release button there. Uh, let's see. Nope. Nothing. Okay, fair enough. I expected that. Now, let's swap that relay out. Let's see if that makes any difference. So, unfortunately, I don't know what any of these relays do here. Uh, we could take this one and I guess just swap it out with that one. And we'll keep trying and I'll keep swapping relays until hopefully, eventually, it comes back to life. I just, I got a suspicion that somebody pulled the fuel pump relay. I really do. I, I really, really, really. She's got gas. Okay, let me swap another one. Well, guys, I switched all the relays around and nothing. I mean, nothing. Well, this one says that it doesn't run, and it doesn't run. We got the valet key, and we got the main key, and... I just, I got a feeling this is gonna be something, you know, like, I don't know, fuel pump related, or maybe fuel pump relay, or a fuse. There, I, I just, I got a feeling there's something else. Now, there's a lot of things to consider when buying a car like this, guys. Uh, number one, it doesn't run. And even though it's probably worth $1,600 as it is, I'm not willing to, to do a bite now of $1,600 on it. Um, even if we do get it running, we still have the issue of the fact it's sitting on the ground, which is, is fairly normal. These cars sink down all the time, guys. A lot of times you fire them up and they come right back up. A lot of times also you fire them up and you find out the air suspension is damaged and, you know, it's going to cost $6,000 to repair. So, my concern, honestly, you'd probably think this is backwards, but my concern is not the fact that it doesn't run. I'm pretty certain we could figure that out and probably get it running. I doubt it's some serious mechanical fault. I'm really thinking it's fuel-related. Um, so I'm thinking fuel pump, worst case scenario, fuel pump. My biggest concern, though, honest to God, is not that it doesn't run, it's that that air suspension is going to be faulty. And with 160-some thousand miles on, that's really not that far-fetched to think that something could be very wrong with it. Um, what's under here? What's back here? Uh, CD and a navigation system. Okay. Well, hell, I don't know. There's probably more fuses and relays all over the place under here. Urgh. I just... I got a hunch that somebody came back here and screwed with this. Uh, do we have relays and everything under here too? Let's see if we can get that out of there real quick. Let's just take a quick peek. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's got all of its relays. Okay. All right. Well, you know, at the end of the day, it's being sold as is. The price isn't all that bad for it, really. I'm going to go ahead and shut off the jump pack. What do you guys think for $1,600? I'm kind of tempted. <laughs> I really am. I just I think I might be able to get it cheaper without using the, uh, the buy it now. And on something like this, the cheaper you can get it for, the better. Uh, so I think I'm going to take my chances at auction, guys. Uh, and hopefully one of you don't try to... Uh, don't try to outbid me on it, but I do plan on bidding on this. Just gonna wait till it gets a little bit closer to auction because it's it's uh, Tuesday or yeah Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. 
we got a we got another week before this car goes up for auction so i'm not going to bid on it right now let's just, just take our chances and uh, we'll see what happens at auction and if we win it we win it if we don't we don't and with that i'm gonna get out of here i know no bidding today i'm sorry guys i'm sorry we didn't do any bidding today there just nothing that i'm really interested in bidding on right now stay tuned though okay because next week we're probably going to bid on something maybe a couple somethings we'll see what happens but i hope you enjoyed the video anyway if you did hit that thumbs up button and if you didn't well go ahead and hit the thumbs down button that's fine drop those comments below guys and i will see you all very soon in the next one.